No, you have two stories of righteous men. One was defeated, one was victorious. When I think about Abraham and Lot, and when I think about the provision the camel brought in to the door that we have now, you still can be righteous and live in Sodom, but you will be vexed. Abraham, however, was righteous. So was Lot. One was victorious, one was defeated. Abraham ate with the Lord. He laughed with the Lord. He actually even contended with the Lord and he spoke with them. They had relationship together. Lot, however, used his five senses and decided to go elsewhere, even though the Bible says he was righteous. Who do you want to be? Think about Jesus with Peter and John. Peter said, I love you, Lord, but Jesus still told him, follow me. Peter said, I'll go to the ends of the earth for you. I will die for you. But he was still told, follow me. John, however, was the disciple whom Jesus loved. John never had to be told, follow me, because when Peter looked in the verse before that, John was already following him. John lived a victorious life. Peter was still learning. So who do you want to be? When we think about the provision of the other camel coming to the door, just remember you have those blessings. Where do you want to give it? Remember Abraham beat kings and came back and took everything. Lot survived, but merely by fire. Abraham though, a thousand to his left fell, 10,000 to his right, and he still was victorious. I hope this is your legacy, and I hope this is your inheritance.